Well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today. This is the Central Women's uh, YouTube channel and we are on Peaks. This is our series right now. And we're talking about how we are, can experience God in the peaks of our lives. I have with us today Julie, Julie Hartman. Hello. I am so glad you're here. Me too, me too. Yes. I'm super happy to be here. Thanks so much. Thanks oh, so much for inviting me. It's going to be so good. Yeah. Um, so I want you just to share a little bit with everyone about sure. your story with Central sure. and um, the peak that has been in that for you. My goodness, there's a lot of them. So I, yes, know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so I'll go back to um, early, our first uh, experience at Central was at the Gilbert campus, mm -hmm. 2007. Um, it was not open yet. It was going to be open for a soft uh, opening weekend. And yeah. And neighbors invited us, and we were apprehensive. We're like, should we go? Like, if it's invite only, it's not open to the public yet. Are they, you know, like, is it going to be okay? Yeah. Well, my family and I walked in, and it was packed. And so we said, yeah, no one's going to know we're here. So we're good. We got, got past the door. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this went, is a funny thing. Yeah. John and I were there. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, keep going. How are we here? Yes. <laughs> So it really was just the very yeah. first time my husband had been. My kids and I had been to Mesa one time. Okay. Um, and from the beginning, we were hooked. Um, Cal's teaching and the message and the people and the community, it was just very uh, welcoming. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to fast forward a little bit how, because my involvement really didn't come until 2008. Okay. Um, so 2008. Um, I'd started to serve in the kids' area, uh, baby rooms Yay, all the way. We love that, yes. Um, I have two rules in the baby room. Uh -huh. One is no crying. No crying in the baby room. Okay. Second rule is they learn mama before they learn dada. There you go. I love that. <laughs> Those are good rules. Yes. Okay. So I held, upheld that. Um, and it was about Mayish, and the getaway was coming up. So it was Central the women's, women's getaway. Yep. And so um, that had been advertised on screen and mm -hmm. didn't really think too much about it. Um, but it was the week, the message before the week that we were going mm -hmm. that really like grabbed my heart. Um, and so I signed up on the Wednesday before we left. Oh, wow. Um, Very yeah. last minute. Okay. Knew, knew nobody <laughs> at all um, and uh, rode the bus up. Which that was a long time okay, ago. Okay, so you signed up by yourself without a girlfriend or anything. No, okay, didn't know okay. anybody. So okay. I signed up and I thought I'm going to ride the bus because it's better than driving all the way to Williams. Mm -hmm. So I signed up, rode the bus, uh, met uh, a woman on the bus who happened to be in the same field as I. Okay. So I had great conversation on the way up. Get up there, um, get settled into the cabin, and go to go to dinner. I come back. Uh, it's at nighttime, and someone came in late. Another girl came into the cabin pretty late. Um, she drove up on her own the next morning, and I like I observed that she came in the cabin um, in the morning. I talked to her, mm -hmm. um, and then at breakfast, we're sitting around the tables. You remember those big tables? You know the big tables they have up in. Yes, in, they do. Yes. So sitting around the table, and she's at the table with me, but I didn't recognize her. Um, and so we were going around, and she just said, "Hey, I'm in your cabin." And I was like, "You are? Are you sure?" Like I was like <laughs> doubting. She knew I should have. Yeah. Anyway, all that to be said, she and I became fast friends. Mm. Um, she is still my very dear friend. Um, she, yeah, is my my uh, my spiritual mom. Even though she's a lot younger than I am, her spiritual walk was way more advanced uh, than mine, and so I credit her with my walk with Jesus for sure. That's awesome. So that's incredible. And it's been a long uh, long time relationship since then. Now, since then, you have had taken some leadership at Central. Mm -hmm. And I just need to say that every time I see you, you are just talking to everyone. You will, I, I would walk into, especially at the Queen Creek campus, and everyone's like, oh, there's Julie, and everyone knows who you are. And so coming from a place where you didn't know anyone up into yeah. this place where you're like really leading yeah. and pouring into others and seeing, like, Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, that really did happen as a result of the Queen Creek campus. So mm -hmm. in Gilbert, um, I served in the kids' area in the baby room the, all the years we were there. Came time to open the Queen Creek campus, and we lived like on the border. We were in between yeah. Gilbert and, um, and Queen Creek. There's but, not an official line. No, nope, there's yeah. not an official line. But we um, went to an information session that mm -hmm. Aaron and Emily held at the okay. PAC, QPAC, and... Um, Came home from that, had a little family meeting, and my teenager, my son, actually was like, mm. I don't know why we wouldn't go to Queen Creek since we live in Queen Creek. Technically, we live in Queen Creek. 
So, wait a minute, so your teen led the push. He did. He that. said, let's do it, let's try it. Yeah. And if we, if we don't like it, we can always go back to Gilbert. Yeah. Um, so just a little bit of picture about that. They were about 100 kids in that teenage group then, mm -hmm. right? And they moved to a group of 10 teenagers. Yeah. And that's, so that was a big adjustment for them. That's huge, yeah. Um, but God is so good. He, with the set up and tear down mm -hmm. aspect of QC, um, rolling carts, setting up the, the rooms. I remember those remember days. those days. And so it allowed my kids to be involved early. Like we would go out, my husband, my kids, myself, roll the carts, set up yes. the rooms. Um, the kids would serve and then they would attend or they would, or they would attend the, the, the teen group mm -hmm. of 10 kids. Um, so it was amazing. And we never, we never looked back. Yeah. We never looked back. So also because of our kind of time there and leading the in every way that they asked us to, basically. I would say we just never really said no. We just felt like if they asked us to do something, they saw something in us, mm -hmm. which is also my what happened in my career and my work as well. Mm -hmm. When someone believed in me, saw something in me, even I didn't see it. A lot of times I didn't see it, um, and I still don't always see it. Um, but I trust that God gave them that ask mm -hmm. because he's going to be with me in it. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the start of the leadership roles in the in the. In, in the creek and what will. did what did you see God bring and develop during that time as yeah. because I'm I am not kidding like when like one of my favorite things to do is like oh I'm gonna go I have to go to Queen Creek today I get to see Julie I get to get <laughs> hang out and They're so funny. well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean because you just you have one of those personalities where you connect with yeah. like I I know that you'll see me mm -hmm. And you'll have like a real conversation. It's not like, oh, you you really want to know what's yeah. going on. And you remember. Yeah. And you'll, yeah. So tell me about how you saw God work when in that, in that way when you were at Queen Creek. You know, honestly, it was not only at church, but mm -hmm. it was also in my career. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of times where those, those two lives paralleled. And I will say that there was a pivotal point in, call it 2010, 11, yeah. where... My work was incredibly, incredibly stressful. Mm -hmm. My church life was good, but I felt, I don't know if I felt something holding back, but there was a moment at my work where I was in a valley that was super deep. Mm -hmm. um, and it took me like on my knees just saying, God, just take this, because I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. You, yeah. You've given me this role in this company, mm -hmm. and I thought I was doing great, but guess what? I didn't have you in it. Yeah. Um, and so, Having those two um, parts of my life come together mm -hmm. um, over and over again. I would attend a meeting at Queen Creek and then like whatever we talked about, whether it was GLS, we did yeah. it. The first debrief we did for GLS, we did in Queen Creek at the PAC. It was amazing. Like we just held it after church. We said, anybody who went to GLS and wants to stay, come and let's talk about it. And we had 35 people stay. And we just talked. It was open. Yeah, and those good. of you who don't know, GLS, it, it was a conference yes. that we would get gathered everyone together and we would watch the conference mm -hmm. on screen or on video that was yeah. being coming from Chicago. Yeah. And there have been very impactful, powerful leaders and teachers from absolutely. those. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And yeah. the lessons and the, the mm -hmm. talks that we got to hear and participate in and yeah. debrief on tied not only into church, but it tied into my corporate world as well. So. Um, I would just say that God just kept showing up and showing me that, hey, like, again, if they ask you to do something, mm -hmm. it's because I've blessed that. And so trust me and trust is, has been kind of the word, my word, trust and obedience, my two words. Yeah, so, that's incredible. Yeah. And then, and you retired? I did a year ago. I can't believe it's been a year. Uh, it has gone by very fast. Yes. It has been amazing. And what has God been showing you in this new key? Yeah, your life? so what's been absolutely. So... One, we've been able, blessed to be able to travel and see other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, um, in those travels, like I, I firmly believe that we see God wherever you, yeah. you, you seek him, you'll find him. He even says that in scripture, mm -hmm. seek and you, will, you yeah. will find. And so going to other countries that are not like us, that don't look like us, act like us, talk like us, and looking for God, you see him, you see him show up and you see it, hey, they're different. But they're still God's children, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They're, we're all God's children. And yeah. how can we love them better? How can we be there for them? How can we help them? Mm -hmm. um, and they all want they all want to hear from us. Mm -hmm. We're a big country, and people yeah. really respect us out there. And so it's been great to see that. Mm -hmm. um, it's been great to be able to help uh, people that had needs in this yeah. last year. Um, anything from helping my daughter pack 
and move across the country. Mm. Praise God, she's in Colorado now. <laughs> so much closer. Um, to helping a friend paint her house, yeah. the inside of her house. She had two hands and another two hands just helped the, yeah. the time go and the, yeah. and the job go well. So just being able to be available. Um, and then also, most recently, <laughs> volunteering at our town, at the town of Queen Creek. Um, so we have a senior center there, okay. and they meet every Wednesday, mm -hmm. and that is so fun to talk with them, hear their stories, serve them food, mm -hmm. and just bless them. Um, and so it, that has been amazing to see God there as well. People of all different faiths, um, but we all talk, and it's just yeah. great. So yeah. it's been amazing. Well, and I think that's something that we forget is that when you, if you look, if you're looking for God, absolutely, you're going to see God. Absolutely. You're going to find him. Mm -hmm. um, and so often, I know in my own personal life, I'm so busy with the go, 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 yes. do, 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 yes. that, right? And that we forget to just, let me just stop and take a moment. Be. And be. And ask God, okay, just just show me. Show me where you are. Show me where you're working. Yeah. Show me what you want me to see. And he reveals. There's a saying that says... Um, we should be human beings mm -hmm. more than human doings. Yeah. I love that. I love that saying. My, my dear I feel like said I was that human me, doing like, all day today. Oh, yeah. I need to. <laughs> I mean, we do have doings. We do have to do some stuff. Yeah, but, but more time being, being. and whether that's being that. in the stillness and presence of God, which is my most recent kind of um, trek, um, or being with someone, mm -hmm. um, you know, being for someone and yeah. being you know, be able to be with someone who may be going through a hard time. Yeah. It might be, um, you know, it could be anything because we all have our challenges for sure. But uh, this being is yeah. super important. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, gosh, you guys, just remember, if you search for God, if you're mm -hmm. looking for God, he is going to be there. He mm -hmm. will show up. He will open your eyes. Yes. And to sit and to be human being, Absolutely. not human doing. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Don't forget, we need you guys to like, so go ahead and hit that thumbs up on there. We need you to like, and we need you also to subscribe. That really, really helps us immensely. Thank you so much ahead of time for doing both of those things for us. We really, really appreciate it. Um, and you'll get to see this every single week on um, another episode. Fantastic. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Bye, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.